In the last episode we sailed to the small and cute Danish town Ebeltoft. Even in this sheltered bay the winds got so strong that we got stuck for some days. And we decided to see a bit of the area. When we still couldn't leave we took the bus to Aarhus, the second biggest city of Denmark. In this episode we finally continue south and have some really good sailing. After some windy days we're gonna be off again and sailing a little bit south. It's not gonna be too windy today but uh, hopefully a smooth sail and uh, to enjoy the sun a little bit before it gets more cloudy. For once we have uh, the current with us, so we're doing about seven knots, which is uh, excellent, really smooth sailing and this far the water is fairly flat, so it's a um, perfect day. We are not spoiled with those good conditions and we decided to keep going. We had so good wind today, we sailed uh, somewhere 8-9 hours by now and uh, we made between 7 and 8 knots most of the time. Now the wind had dropped a little bit so we're making about 6-6.5 six, six and, a half, and um, we're gonna sail still a bit south and see where we end up. It felt a little like a milestone passing the bridge and I started to wonder whether this was the furthest south Tilda had ever been. We didn't really have a plan on where to end up today but uh, we found a place, I've forgotten the name right now, but it's super cute. I think this is the prettiest harbour we've found so far in Denmark. It's just uh, very friendly and welcoming. It's uh, Lundeborg. Uh, the name of the harbour. A nice Danish couple with a beautiful unique boat convinced us our boat could fit in front of theirs and it did by a meter. Got a pretty good spot. You could easily tell this harbour was made to socialise in, with a lot of tables and barbecue places, and people were super friendly. Lundeborg itself is just a small town, and everything is built around the harbour.
I'm not sure whether this is his boat or not. Since we arrived late, the sun was soon setting and it colored the sky beautifully. Before we left the next morning, we took time to fix some things. Extra safety for the boat. One of the things that I got from Motski. Sailing in Denmark means mostly sailing quite far from land, but uh, now we're actually passing a village. The sun was almost already setting when we approached our last Danish port at Ære. Yet another long day. It's about 10 p.m. and uh, we docked and made some food and I made the worst docking I've ever made. It just cut my self-confidence completely. I don't know really what went wrong but uh, it started to go a little bit wrong and then I tried to correct it and then I tried to correct it more and then it went wrong the other way and I mean, nothing got really damaged, but uh, it for sure looked like I did not know what I was doing at all. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed about it. But for now, it's cold outside, it's a little bit windy, and it's obviously dark. And uh, I think we're just going to stay inside. And uh, I'm not sure we will actually have the opportunity to see this place. It looks gorgeous, but... Uh, we are uh, in the south of Denmark at Ära and tomorrow is a good weather window to cross to Germany and I don't want to miss that out but still I want to stay and see this place so I guess we have to figure out tomorrow morning how to do it It's an early morning but I decided I need to see a little bit of this place before we leave so I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk in the rain and I hope to find a bakery to get some fresh bread. And it's nice to stretch the legs because yesterday we sat on the boat all day. The decision was also helped by the harbour master because this place, in the opposite of many other places in Denmark, didn't have self-service payment at the harbour. So the harbour master was uh, coming to collect the harbour fees in the very early morning. Even though this place is small, with a little over 2,000 people living here, it is a big maritime center and it is also the biggest village on this island. We were not sure what you wanted to say with that house decoration. Of course we can see it's the back of a boat, but it also looks a little bit like something else, don't you think? This is one of three small towns on this island. We could of course not go to all of them, but I think this is a very pretty part of the island. This is also famous for the beach houses, so we decided to have a glimpse of them before we left.
Hi Denmark! Thank you Watsky for your support and also I want to deeply thank my Patreons for supporting the making of these episodes and if you want to contribute you can also become a Patreon or buy me a coffee at the links below. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you appreciated this episode, please give it a big thumbs up.